Hey guys, welcome to my channel Nature's Creator. This is Jacqueline and I'm back with another exciting video that is about womb bats. But before starting it, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Womb bats are marsupials that have stubby tails, stocky muscular bodies and short legs. They only occur naturally in Australia. They are very fascinating creatures with a variety of traits. They often spend the day in the burrow and come out at night. However, womb bats are only observed in captivity during the day when the weather is chilly and gloomy. They can also be seen in the wild. Womb bats are nocturnal herbivores who sleep a lot, about 16 hours every day, just like their relative of colas. In the wild, they commonly womb bats only live to be between the ages of 12 and 15. Various captive ones frequently live into their 20s. They are excellent diggers, thanks to their pointed claws and short, strong legs. In captivity, womb bats have been reported to live up to 27 years. As far as their teeth are concerned, womb bats have one pair of incisors one pair of premolars and four pair of molars in both upper and lower jaws. The premolar and incisors are separated by the white space. This means that only the two upper and lower incisors may be seen by individual observing an animal feed. Wombats build a system of burrows in which to dwell. The network may be vast and frequently contains several entrances as well as branching tunnels. More than one wombat may occupy the same burrow system. In the wild, common wombats aren't very social and may hiss or growl at one another. They are under the category of solitary animals. The other species are more sociable and frequently cohabitate in the same burrow. Dung and urine are extensively used to mark entrances. Despite living in burrows, Wombat pouches face backward. Wombats, like other marsupials, have a pouch where their young develop. The pouch's flap is backward. This is to make sure dirt doesn't enter the pouch when burrowing. The wombat poses a solid plate beneath its skin on the rear. The plate's name is dermal shield. Bone, fat, and cartilage make up the structure's many layers. Fur and flesh covers its entire body. The wombat's dermal barrier protects it from several injuries, although predators may still scratch its back. Baby wombats appear helpless, but they pose a keen sense of smell. To finish developing, they climb into their mother's pouch and affix to a teat. The child doesn't emerge from the pouch until it is between 6 and 10 months old. So guys, these were some amazing facts about the wombats. I hope you guys enjoy it.